you just want her back. You just can't stop thinking about her 24-7, 365, she's on your mind, you can't focus, you can't do your work, you don't want to go outside, you don't want to do anything. All you want to do is just have her back in your arms and feel her love once again, but instead, she's getting banged by another dude. Yeah, man, it sucks, it sucks. I've been there myself as well. Um, but it doesn't have to be this way, okay? It doesn't have to be like this, okay? And that's what this video is about. It's how to get your ex back guaranteed. Now, there's just two things you need to do. And if you do these two things, not only will you absolutely get her back, you'll get a lot more too, which I'll explain about in a second. But first of all, I wanna tell you a quick story about younger James, okay? Now, quite a few years ago, um, I was living with a girl at the time we were in uh, Manchester England uh, living in a very small apartment it was tiny it was like a shoebox uh, we were both working nine to five jobs which I'll I'll make videos about the, the nine to five jobs uh, at future videos I hated hated the job hated my life at that point to be honest with you uh, I was doing a vegan diet as well which I'll, I'll make videos about in future um, so yeah, vegan diet, working a nine to five, and I'm just in a relationship which is just not going well at all. You know, we've been together about 18 months and things were starting to get a little bit tough, okay? Things were starting to get a little bit challenging and I would just come home from work every single day and it would just be a battle. Every single day there would be this problem or that problem and it was just a constant back and forth, like just battle and argument. Now, knowing what I know now, I never would have let it get to that point, okay? But I was much less experienced with relationships back then. And I kind of just kind of just fell into it and just went along with it. And I was just trying to please her and make her happy. But really, um, I should have uh, ended things much sooner. And I should have just dealt with the situation much sooner. And I see a lot of guys make this mistake is that they just don't deal with the small problems and the small problems turn into big problems and then eventually you find yourself wondering how the hell did I get in this situation anyway that was <laughs> that's what had happened to me okay so uh, I'm just coming home from work every single evening and there's this problem there's this complaint there's this thing this thing and eventually I was just like look enough is enough I've had enough you're clearly not happy because you're complaining so much I'm not happy uh, let's just both go our separate ways so I needed to get out of that situation as fast as possible. I ended up moving back home with my parents just because it was the cleanest like exit out of that situation. I went back home to my parents and I was like, okay, uh, my life sucks. I need to sort my life out. I need to turn things around. Uh, I've made previous videos about this, but I just went monk mode. I deleted all my social media um, and I just didn't go out. I didn't party, didn't see anyone. I just locked myself in my room basically and figured out how could I make money online and, and travel, which is kind of what I wanted to do. Right, so if we fast forward um, quite a few years, this is about five, five years, right? I'm here, I'm living in Bali. I am doing everything I said that I was gonna do. Obviously me and her, we talked about our future plans and I always said, I wanna make good money I want to you work online, have the freedom to travel wherever I want and just see different parts of the world. Like the world's so big, it would just be a shame to spend it in Manchester for the rest of my life. OK, she wasn't really that excited about that. So we were kind of on different paths anyway. Um, but I was doing everything that I said I was going to do. And uh, one day uh, I just randomly got a message. It was like four in the morning, uh, but I was just waking up ready to start my day got a message saying hi James and I'm like what from from this girl we've not spoken in five years I'm like oh okay hi is everything okay and then she just starts speaking to me like uh, texting me like normal like as if we just speak every single day I'm like hang on a minute <laughs> like what's going on here like what do you want like <laughs> we've not spoken in a very long time you can't just like slide back into the conversation and expect everything to be normal Oh, I've actually missed a point. So when we split up, uh, I moved back home with her parents. Uh, she uh, gets with a rebound guy like very quickly after, like uh, a month after or something like that. And women always move on quicker than men. Always, always, always. They're just better at it, at moving on than men. Okay. So she gets with a rebound guy. She ends up marrying the rebound guy. Okay. So she marries the rebound guy like 
quite quickly afterwards i'm like cool fair enough it wasn't working anyway i'm happy for you uh, like i wish you all the best we get to bali I, I get to bali five years later she messages me and i'm just like hang on a minute what's going on and then she's like oh yeah well uh, me and him are going through a divorce now um uh, things weren't working out i've realized what i wanted and it's not that and uh yeah i just wondering uh, i'm thinking about coming to bali to see you and i was like whoa hang on a minute like slow down like that's just not gonna happen at all and i just explained like look it's been so long uh you know, we tried it a long time ago it didn't work out and i've just got different preferences and, and different things that i'm looking for now and i just don't ever see us ever being anything ever again and you know i remember all the good times that we had together but that chapter is closed now and it's done and the lesson in all of this is if you're in a situation right now where you know you can't step you can't stop thinking about a girl you can't get over her all you need to do is just level up you just need to level up in every single aspect of your life the first thing you need to do right is hit the gym okay you got to get in the gym you got to get in shape especially if you're not in shape that is the number one thing to do is to get in shape like everyone every man should have a six pack like are you even a man if you don't have a six pack like you don't need to get jacked you don't need to like have muscles popping out your eyeballs obviously but every man should have a six pack it's a non-negotiable like it's a bare minimum and you know in the world right now there is less men with a six pack than millionaires <laughs> okay so it's such an easy thing to do but, but even if you've got no money right now you can still get a six pack you know a gym membership is you know a few quid a month uh, there's no excuses for for not having a six pack so if you're not in shape right now get in shape if you have a six pack right now 10x your physique more you know go to the next level get to single digit body fat and automatically your confidence will be up uh, you'll just you you'll just feel a lot better you'll get more attention from other women uh, and it will improve every single aspect of your life there is no cost to getting in shape there's no cost whatsoever there's absolutely no downside by the way if you want some help with that uh, you can hit the links in the description below or you can send me a dm uh, and you know we can potentially work together one-on-one -on -one for you to hit your fitness goals anyway so once you get in shape get in the best shape of your life 10x your physique once you've 10x your physique or while you're 10x in your physique the next thing you need to do is 10x your income okay 10x your income like it is so in, like money is so important okay like it is it, uh, for a man anyway like money is so important like that is how you do things in the world that is how you show your love that is how you provide for people that is just how you live an interesting life is you need like you need freedom units you know like the more freedom units to have the more free you are so you absolutely got to 10x your income and if you do that, you 10x your physique and 10x your income, well now you're in a completely different situation. Now you have a different lifestyle, you live in a different place, uh, you, you mix with different people, um, you get attention from different kinds of women, you got uh, way more options now. And I guarantee you, if you just do these things, um, you're gonna look at that girl that you can't stop thinking about right now, you're gonna look at her differently because you're gonna have way more options. And another thing as well that we often forget in the moment is that time is the greatest healer, okay? Time is such a good healer. You've just got to give it a bit of time. And in order to get in the best shape of your life, get a six pack and six figures. Six pack and six figures. That should be the absolute bare minimum for any dude. Six pack and six figures, right? You do those two things, it might take you a while to get there. It might take you a year, it might take you a bit longer. But by that point, so much time will have passed, your preferences will have changed anyway. And then if what, what I recommend that you do is go travel, go travel, go see different cultures, go, different, go see different types of women, see how they treat you differently and your preferences will change and you'll look back at that relationship and you'll be glad this has happened. You'll be glad this has worked out because you'll just be like oh well that was like a lucky escape or like everything happens for a reason okay and um what else was i gonna say let me check let me check my notes okay like you never if you do take it back it's never going to be the same it's never ever ever going to be the same you tried it it hasn't worked out you're better off just both moving on like wish her well there doesn't need to be any like negative energy wish her well hope for the best 
but you just need to focus on you and leveling up every single aspect of your life okay and with regards to time as well time is actually on your side now this is a bit of a, a controversial topic okay but men and women peak at different ages okay so in your 20s you know women are like peaking and you know men not really like i remember when i was in my 20s uh you know i would, would like some girls just wouldn't even look at me they wouldn't even give me any attention whatsoever but now those same girls now that i'm in my 30s well they're like whoa who's this guy and i'm not even interested in them now it's like it switches right so as a man time is on your side like time works for you not against you so you've got to bear that in mind as well realistically you're probably going to get better with age um but that is you know a controversial topic but also like the best thing about this situation right now is that you are probably in tremendous pain tremendous suffering you can't stop thinking about it and all you need to do is just use this use this pain use this suffering and channel it into something productive channel it into becoming the best version of yourself 10x your physique 10x your income uh, 10x your style uh, your charisma you know your network uh, just level up every single aspect of your life and i promise you you will look back and you won't you won't even double look at that woman ever again and this happened i've seen it happen many times it happens all the time actually okay <clears throat> So, I think it's time that you just say goodbye, stop, stop messaging her, stop thinking about her, just wish her well, let her, let her go on and do her life and you just focus on you. You focus on becoming the man you know you can be. Because you've got two options right now. You can either stay down, stay like a pussy, like a simp and just let this beat you and show the world how, you know, how like and show yourself how pathetic you are or you can use this as a drive and motivation to just become the best version of yourself and level up every single aspect of your life and just become the no become the man you know you can be done